How's it going, my fellow Vanguards? Ian here for Car Fight Calgary. Oh. And uh, are you okay, Sean? Is no. your back okay? Holy shit, okay. you're showing your wife. Go away. <laughs> and we're here with another episode of Meta Talk. I know you guys are somewhat enjoying it, hopefully. <laughs> Nobody's enjoying it. <laughs> and today's episode is going to be on Royal Paladins, which is the last clan we're going to be talking about from Generation Stride. We pretty much covered everything else from the last videos you have been watching. Go watch them, please. Do it. Okay, so let's get started here. Um, we're going to be... Uh, there's really not a lot of stuff that came out with Generation Stride, so uh, we're going to move through this episode pretty quickly. So the first card that we really want to talk about is Holy Dragon Saint Blow Dragon. Holy, holy shit, Saint. Holy what? <laughs> Anyways. It's ability, it's a stride unit, so you do your stride thing, bitch cards, so who's grades equal to three, and you stride it. And its ability is Generation Persona Blast. Um, this gains 3,000 for every rear guard that you control. And if the number of face of G units in the generation zone is two or more, if you have two or more rear guards, which is actually pretty small when I think about it, um, this unit gets a crit. So, uh, so uh, one thing you should know, it's an act ability. Right. I've been known to normally call Margols from hand, so I have five units in the field and then activate it. This guy's and a then dumbass. activate the Margol. This guy's just a dumbass. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. I'm just kidding. Anyways. Yeah, okay, that's that's, like, that's an okay that, that, that's that's an okay strategy, I'm not gonna lie. This is the reason why I ride Tiffany, so GTFO. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's a good ability in a sense where it rewards a perfect guard, where it's basically on par with Ragnarok, except you don't Carblast, where Royal's Carblast are shitloads, so... Uh, At least Ragnarok it's free. Uh, doesn't cost Carblast, is pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. the fact that it gives a crit for nothing is almost nothing, it's really good. We can only use, use it twice, obviously. Um, there's not much to say except for it's Royal Paladin decks generally have very weak mid games. Oh yeah. Except yeah. until the Olympic Remover came out for Geonites and it became really strong uh, in its mid game. Not even Majesty of was like that. Yeah, and and but now with Saint Blow, you have a really goddamn strong mid game because out of nowhere, if your opponent guard doesn't guard and he's at two damage. You can just check two random crits. You just. It can hit up to before boost. It can hit up to forty-one thousand when you have a full field. So it does warrant a perfect guard. If your opponent is throwing zeros, then I'm pretty sure he's pretty fucked for the next. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's that's Saint Blow. That's pretty much all we gotta really say. And um, another card that came out, which is not in the set per se, but it was uh, one of the box toppers that you could potentially get, and that is Prevail Jewel Knight Yvain. Which is the Jewel Knight Legion, which a lot of people have been waiting for, but they're really upset that it's not a girl. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, it's a Legion unit, of course, with uh, Jewel Knight Sword Me, which we'll talk about later. Its ability is when this attacks a Vanguard, if it's in Legion, and there are, and you have uh, six or more Jewel Knights on the field against 5k and a crit, so it swings 25 by itself if you have a full field. And its uh, other ability is, oh, sorry, and its other ability gets plus two, so it'll be 27 the full field. And then we're going to go straight to the Sword Me, which is, uh, you can't really have one without the other. Well, more or less. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, <laughs> its ability is uh, a special counter blast. Um, when this is placed on the rear guard, you may search for a grade 1 Jewel Knight. And or lower. Or lower, and you may superior call it. So you can call Tiffany the Or Helois. Or Helois, or the, all that stuff. So, my, in my Yvain. opinion, in my opinion, Yvain is is basically a Salome on steroids. The only yes. problem is that it requires a full feel, so it's, which is not very hard in Jewel Knights. It's not very hard, but then when you go against shit like Link Joker, then uh, oh yeah, no you're, resist unit. It's true. It, it literally in the moment they just lock one, your ability is offline. No, it's still six units, including the banger. Incl okay, it's the one's lock two. Yes. Two. <laughs> Uh, well, not game over, but you know, your you ability is time. just offline, so it's a meh. The Legion, <laughs> in my opinion, is meh, but Sword Me is what makes the Legion good, because it it makes you a feel. It's a 9k symbol, which makes you a feel for less counterblast, and uh, it is basically used in conjunction with, like, same favorite Ultima, like Kai and I. It's deck. just, bro, you, just, you can throw it into any deck, and really, it'll make it really pass. So, and Sword Me's main usage in every single deck that is running is to create a feel to make sure that Saint Blow hits that 41,000 every time it's being stripped. It's right. So, say something. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> um, 
sword meat I found in the Sing Saber Ultimate build, it makes it that your early game, you can rush down a lot harder on your opponent, mm -hmm. especially if you went first and they just rolled into a 6k. All you right. call the sword meat, 16k line special right Special Camel Blast, Superior call a either a freaking Prismy or a Shelly, and you uh, basically attack for um, 16 at their 6. So you can basically, basically by your, the turn you ride to grade 2, you can almost make a full field using the cards in your hand, which makes it makes rushing down the current meta decks really easily. And it's better in Gold Paladins than the Science we search for specific cards too, whereas yes. Gold Paladins search for random cards, right? And the good thing is, when GO2 comes out and you have the plus 10k bullshit grade 1, this can become 19k! And you can hit your opponent for 19 even though he's at grade 2. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it, its rush down potential is really high, so it mean has made Rod Paladin in general really fast now, and mm -hmm. it can create a huge wobble combo with Gublade yeah. and Knight of Twin Swords. You can go up to 5, 6, or maybe five, 7 in No, I don't think so. Oh, if you have with the counter block, yeah. sure. If you have the counter block. If your opponent lets you hit, yes. like the specific unit, sure. Yeah, but yeah. I'm not sure that's also pretty good. I, I really think like, Sword Me pretty is like the one thing that Bro Paladins kind of needed. In the sense. Yeah, people are, super cool. people are still looking for this card because it came one per one four per, per four case, box. basically four per case. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's pretty expensive. It's competition to find it is pretty uh, hard, I would say. It's also like it's this random seven USD card. <laughs> yeah. So you guys better look for these really hard if you want. Yeah. Get the because picture, uh, throw the core into any deck and you got yourself a rush down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, one more card that we can really only discuss that came from the set is uh, Knight of Fragment, which is uh, by itself not the best card in the world, but it's, it's something. Right? So it's a, it's a generation break one unit when you have, uh, its ability is when you have another grade 2 rear guard, it swings for 11 and if it hits you may soul charge 1 and unflip. Um, this card is, uh, I say, more for just enabling some abilities and enabling some uh, usage in pretty much every Royal Paladin deck that will run it. Um, there's really not much to say about Knight of Fragment except it's a combo piece of anything. So yes, Knight of Fragment is a combo piece. It works extremely well with Sing Savers. It allows you to get the extra soul without having to soul charge Margos like this guy. <laughs> it also allows you to uh, unflip. It also helps not o it doesn't it helps not only Sing Saver, it also helps Ultimile in the sense where it helps you unflip, you yeah. repay the cost, and I mean if you hit and it also helps Azel with its and uh, solar red, shoe issues. With solar shoes and uh, and kind of and kind of issues. So all in all, it's a good deck. I mean, it's sorry, it's, it's a, a good, good card, card where you can put in most Royal Paladin decks, except for maybe Jonas, because you don't really want to be soul charging everything. Maybe uh, Majesty Lord Blaster. Yeah, it's also not a Jonite name. Maybe Master Majesty Lord Blaster if uh, Fire Splash and delivery. Yeah, it's, it, it's okay for Majesty Lord Blaster. Um, the only downside is that you call another grade 2. Mm. I know it's not that hard to have another grade 2 in Royal Paladins, but the problem is that if your opponent, say, locks one of your front row or you're, something, or if you just happen to not have another grade 2, then its ability just goes offline. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only downside. So, yeah. so that's basically all the stuff coming out of the set. Royal Paladins really didn't get much in terms of the other times, but uh, it, it, it enables a lot of decks, though. So we're going to move on to that now. What decks are pretty much available now? At this moment, with uh, Generation 1 support. Um, a card that we pretty much have to run in almost every version is from the Trial deck. Uh, Blue Sky Knight, Ultimile, and we're, we're just benching it now because he can go into almost every deck. Really. Um, he's a Generation Break 2 unit, uh, if you guys don't know the Trial decks, and its ability is if you have um, Generation Break 2, you're every row gains. Only front row. Oh, front row. Front row. Mm -hmm. So essentially every column, if you have front row units, gains 5k. And its uh, on shred ability is a counter boss 1, superior called 2 cards from your hand. Up and to 2. Up to 2 cards yes. from your hand. And you may select up to 2 Any units. units. And choose yeah any units to get 5k. So Ultimile is really strong um, in decks that don't require uh, sub climbing. I'm just calling out Drew Knights here because they don't really want to run Ultimile or anything. It just in general, it doesn't really work for Drew Knights. Yeah, it can work for Seekers. It can work for Seekers, it can work for uh, Al uh, Alfred, it can work for Majesty Lord Blaster if you guys are still waiting for the support, which I think is going to happen. Um, so yeah, uh, just throwing Ultimile out there. And of course, uh, Gablade, which is also another trial deck unit, which is uh, a stride, you know, you know the thing. And if it hits, you may superior call a grade two or greater, 
uh, from your deck to the river, and that's also pretty good. Like, Go uh, Blade is pretty much going in every yeah. Royal College right after that. You can Go Blade into uh, Sword Me into a complete route. Yeah, exactly. Or, or Go Blade into a Twin Sword into a Sword into a Sword Me, and then you can, you can just go yeah. on forever. Yeah, I think the main Go Blade enables a lot of the combos. Yeah, the, the main thing about it is that it gives your early game and your mid game really like strong push for, for damage and along with Autobahn giving 5000 power on stride to 2 units unlike Gaslot it cannot whiff unless you're calling, you don't call anything and you have nothing to begin with but Yeah, and unless you have nothing to begin with Yeah, then, then you just don't use it but <laughs> it, it does make your rushdown really really strong uh, and your early game can be like... I don't know, how long it might it's pretty scary. Yeah, it's like Compared a Salome on steroids if you want to move or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, another card that we're going to talk about, we mentioned him earlier, is... Uh, hmm? Oh yeah, uh, it's uh, no, one more... <laughs> yeah, very. thanks for reminding me. There's one more card from the trial deck that we you should be playing as well in most Royal Pilot decks, and that's Knight of Twin Sword, which is Generation Break 1. If this unit is boosted, Counter Blast, and you miss a Break 1 Break 2, thus enabling more... Except breaks. itself. Except for itself. So this enables, just, this is just a, another combo piece, right? We've mentioned them time and time again throughout this video that Royal Paladins require other Royal Paladins to do stuff and this this Twin Sword just enables a lot of your combo things. So Twin, Twin Sword is basically your, I think it's the star card of the deck, I would mm -hmm. say. Basically because it starts, it, it makes your rushes really strong, it calls out specific grade twos that you want. It has like sword me to make another roll. You can call it fragment to start on flipping. You can call blaster dark if, if yeah, you're you can call it blaster dark and you can suck it up. There yeah. you go. So or majesty. So yeah, there's this fixes a lot of the issues that a lot of raw power decks have in mm -hmm. terms of calling to the field, and it's, it's in the form of a great two. So this is pretty exciting for you know, for everyone who wants to play raw power, mm -hmm. especially classic raw power. Yeah. So if you're gonna play, buy a trial deck. Yes, <laughs> buy two trial decks. You'll have everything you need, including perfect guards for those of people who are and pretty foil marbles. And marbles. Foil marbles. <laughs> Anyways, all I care about is the rack of perfect guards. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now uh, the another card that uh, that should become, I think, see more play, more or less, if people decide not to do seekers, is King of Knights Vanguard Ezel, which is Alfred's dad or his legion mate or partner. And uh, you basically Legion, uh, Legion with Alfred, which if you guys don't know, I'll explain after they talk about Alfred. And um, his ability is Soul Blast 2 and Persona Blast. Um, you may superior call, when this unit is in Legion, you may superior call the Grade 2, the Grade 1, and the Grade 0. And that's pretty much it. And if it's in Legion, you can't boost it because, you know, Alfred can't be boosted either. And then uh, to coincide with, uh, with uh, King Knight's Ezel, there's King of Knights, uh, sorry, King of Vanguards as well. King of Knights, Alfred is his Legion mate, which is his first ability is Counter Blast 3. You may superior call any Royal Paladin from the deck. And his other ability is um, it gains 1,000 for every rear guard you control. No, sorry, 2,000 for every rear guard you control. So he swings 20k by himself. And uh, one continuous ability that it has, which is kind of unfortunate, but not really, is that you cannot boost him. So, so there's the the father-son duo of Royal Paladins. I I really like this because um, King of Knights was like one of the best cards when it, during its time. Like, being able to swing 20,000 for little or nothing was a really scary thing back in Season 1 and part way through Season 2 even with limit breaks running around everywhere. But um, I think with uh, Ezreal, um, you can play Classic Paladins and it's pretty good. You can play half Classic Paladins but um, so you kind of need fragments for the deck to yeah. work much better. Um, it's okay, it can create a few everything. My only problem with Ezo is that it's sold a lot too, and when you when you look at the mo number of great ones you can call, the only other thing that you can actually try and call maybe are Pongos, just in general, because like, if you actually or like, tech, tech, the, tech the Soul Saver, sorry, soul, soul saver, sorry. Tech the, <laughs> a, a Soul Saver in your deck or something. Um, but the problem is that you cannot call things like uh, Sort of hope Richard because if you don't have a soul, you will, that was a nice whiff you just made there, right? Yeah. Like, Unless of course you like set it up. Yes. That. So it kind of I don't know. I just I just found that when, when with the number of great ones you can call, it's just really like luster because it's just like shit. But you can, can call. call toy peoples, which is I think the best booster that Royal Paladins have. It's the best booster mm -hmm. if, if you if you run if you have a twelve k beater. Yes. I don't think Azo. Yeah, they don't have a twelve k beater. Well, they have the generation. 
if you yeah. if you stole it. But if it's a legion, like the cross, it's kind of slow that way. But it's yeah. not too bad. I guess. At least you can call Toy Pugo, and since uh, your Vanguard has two great threes, it's always on. Mm -hmm. Which is like something before where people used lost to the play. Joker. <laughs> yeah, of course. Before, before like, people used to play Palamides in order to switch twenty one. Now yeah. they don't have to, so that's pretty yeah. Yeah, Topigo is basically your only other, uh, <laughs> I guess, great one selection there. Um, your great two, probably you just call like you can call sword, whatever, whatever. Twin sword, you can call. And fire. then your great zero is probably just call Blaster Blade. Or you can call you can call Barco too if you decide to do play Barco. Yeah, you can call Barco from the main deck, which is not yeah. <laughs> if you want to know your deck on trigger so anyway. Superior right of Blaster Blade. So you can call out the one blue and the one the flow you take in <laughs> if you do, ever so decide to do so. But like you know. I, I guess one of the other things is boosters. It's, it's free boosters. You don't. You can put Barco behind the Vanguard, it's never going to boost anyway, so. <laughs> I don't know, it's just this, uh, really old cards that. You must have called Margo at that point, or yeah, call like a yeah. Sharon. Yeah, which is like. Just Soul Charge it away. We can give that to you do stuff. Yeah, since you can Soul anyway, it's yeah. as well Soul Charge. Might as well. Yeah, uh, coupled with the Strides is actually pretty good because mm. now you can start pushing for damage earlier. And the problem with Azo before was that if your opponent was not at 5 damage, he was not as threatening because you could just eat it if he doesn't check a crit, it's like, yeah. oh nice, a 31k. And so it, it, now with Saint Blow and, and Goblet being able to push your opponent to 5 damage really really fast, it can start shining much better you now. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, of course there's uh, one more deck that... Uh, wait no. Jewel Knights are also a thing which is... Uh, the other main vanguard is like... Salome, which is the Salome, uh, stupid fire collection one sucks. Dick, let's just not talk about it. No, we we'll just talk about Salome and Ashley. Ashley's, yeah. Uh, do you play Birthday and stuff? I don't know. It's, it's too slow. slow. It, it's it's personal preference, but it's too slow. Personally, I will play the four if I if I play Jonas. Nice, I will play the four Yvain and just f simply four Ashley reverse because your early game and mid game just becomes. Pretty OP because you have stuff such as um, Starlight Violinist, which can call out um, Sword Beast, which will then call your Limit Break Removers, yes. and then you will turn your Ashley Reverse into a huge monster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when your opponent is a great too, with Hellos. So you would surmount a full field, and your so your Hellos will not be active, but you know you just retard your opponent's great to like intercept man you have a full field hitting his vanguard when he's at two yeah which is just like okay i and guess salam has a crit which is just like yeah. salt in the wound there it's just that the fact that the limit breaker is a ghoul knight name and you can secure call him like mad yeah mm -hmm. it's yeah and and so salome you can activate on the other hand salome you can activate its limit break and you can swing 20k to your opponent's 9k or 10k if they're a 10k body when he's at grade two because Limber Remover is a thing, and Salome can just choose the Limber Remover with this special combo too. Yeah, so, yeah. Also that, and she's long mm -hmm. swing like 19. Yeah. Which is <laughs> pretty <Yeah>. good. <laughs> uh, and, and then, of course, like the, the main star of our whole topic here is the Seeker deck, which is the main boss card, as you guys are really probably are still familiar with from Ninja Format, is Thing Saver Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's the pseudo, the, the Phantom Blaster, or the Raging Form Dragon, the Royal Paladins, and made out of Blaster Blade. It's just uh, pretty scary. The fact that there's no restrictions on how many times you can really use it, aside from having Sting Sabers in the deck, right? Depending, and on, running also. <laughs> yeah. depending on how you make the deck, if you put it with um, Wingo, you can do it, so multiple resets in one turn. Mm -hmm. Except if you couple with Ultima, where you use more card blocks, you probably only do the one reset on that turn. Unless you actually somehow heal like shit and you manage to like unflip like crazy. And all your fragments go off and yeah, all that yeah. stuff. Um, but with the exception of that, even without the multiple resets in a turn, the, the Ultimiles early game and the strides coupled together would have already done enough damage that you only warrant one of these and you'll probably win the game. Yeah. Generally when I play the deck, I barely ever perform Legion because the opponent just lost before I can they even do it. lose before you ride over. Yeah. With and Sing Saber is just like salt in the wound game over. It's yeah. like, oh, I didn't beat you. Hey, um, let's make sure I beat you. <laughs> oh, and and coupled with um, uh, your uh, same blow. If your opponent throws on perfect guards to same blow, then they, they won't have perfect guards. Probably don't have perfect guards yeah. same time. And I know it's not as ideal, but if you couple it with Geo to Samo and you deal an extra damage, Royal Palace are getting a lot of love. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. For sure, it's for sure it's baby. Let's just let's let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, the secret deck is secret decks and Joe Knights with Geo two support will become the meta Royal Paladin decks in my opinion, where it becomes really fast and really strong and much stronger than what they will be or are they are now. Sorry. Plus, of course, you know um, the Fires collection gives us magic slow faster and the stride is just like freaking ridiculous. You mean, you mean it's gonna be a Joe Knights stride? <laughs> <laughs> For all we know, right? We still have some some time before they release the full fire collection. Yeah. We'll be talking about that in a future episode, but in case of this episode, that's pretty much everything we want to discuss. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit a like if you enjoyed this video. Share it with someone who you think would uh, benefit from this information. And hit subscribe if you haven't already. And remember to stand up to the occasion, my fellow vanguards. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye! <laughs>